this video we will see what how to get a clock divider it means different clock frequencies how to get so there is nothing but indirectly they divide by counter okay so we have see if we are doing a divide by four counter okay using red lock so how if you are going to divide the clock we will see okay so generally the waveform of uh, a clock so this is your main clock which is given as input okay to the fpga okay suppose it is some frequency okay so this is the your frequency of your uh, uh, the input clock which is that you have given okay so um, if you put it counter we know that it has qa qb qc and qd okay so the qa output you will see that when input is two cycles output will come one cycle that means half of your frequency this one okay this is nothing but one flip flop will divide by two okay so this is your half of frequency okay now see the second one qb will be four cycles one two three four okay four cycles you are getting one that means divide by four the same thing this is 8 so this is 8 so this is dividing by 8 the input frequency is divided by 8 similarly this is divided by 16 ok so a 4 bit counter if you take the output at QA you, the clock frequency is divided by 2 this is divided by 4 divided by 8 and divided by 16 ok so we just try to Verlock well code for a 4 bit counter and each output QA, QB, QC will get then you will get your divide by clock. Okay, so depending on how much frequency you want, you divide the clock with corresponding. But if you want more, then you implement a more higher bit counter, 8 bit counter. Okay? You want to divide this still further, less, you have to implement with a higher bit counter. Okay, so this is the code. So this is your clock, main clock, this is so one flip clock will get divided by two, this again will divide by two, two, okay, like that it keeps on with it. So this is your output. Okay, so if you take at this you will get half, then you will get one by fourth of your clock, so one uh, eight, one sixteen of your input clock. Okay, so depending on how much clock you are giving to your FPG. Okay, depending on divided by 2, divided by 4, divided by 6, 8 and divided by 16 you will get. Okay, so this is a counter program in very long and that only we are taking only here we are tapping individual outputs. Okay, so this is the module, module of counter. So we are giving input clock, this is your clock, reset because we want reset, reset, output. 4 bit because we are implementing a 4 bit counter. Okay. So temporary variable range up counter say 4 bit. So this is in behavior model always at the rate of positive H of clock and positive H of reset. Okay, what we are seeing? Begin. Okay. Then if reset, that means if reset is 2, that is if reset is 1, counter should become 0, 0. So this will become 0. zero. This is 4 bit, this is 1, this is 0. Okay. Next, else, counter output should be equal to increment by 1. Okay. For each and every clock, this counter will become incremented and it will increase. So, here you see this counter, no, this, this is the output of the counter. Individual bit I am taking because it is so array of 0. So, counter 0. I am assigning this counter the first time, whatever this term, that is 0 plus 1, it will, that will take. Next, assign counter 1, this is Q, this is Q not like, this is say in this way for QA, this is QA, this is QB, QC and QD. Individually you are tapping and assigning, okay. If you look at this outputs, you will see that it will be divided by 2, divided by 4, divided by 8, divided by 6. Okay, so this is about the um, 
class divider how to implement if you want for high we can say just increase the size okay if you want to divide more okay that's all in this video thank you please like share subscribe to my channel thank you for watching coming up with more videos on vlog okay thank you